नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू आई होप टुडे आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू फ्लैश कस्टम रोम ऑन लेनोवो ए सिक्स थाउजेंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव शोन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल कस्टम रिकवरी ऑन योर लेनोवो ए सिक्स थाउजेंड और ए सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू रूट इट सो यू नीड टू गो इन टू रिकवरी मोड टू डू दिस द फाइल्स विच आर नीडेड इन दिस इज द कस्टम रोम फाइल एंड द जी एप्स फाइल so once you are into your recovery mode by long pressing your power atom and volume down button you need to go to wipe at once wipe and now you have to select dalvik cache system data and cache make sure you do not select internal storage or micro sd or external sd now you need to swipe to wipe now let it wipe everything on your phone wiping usually take some time so just wait for it don't panic it will be done very soon it's almost complete now and it's done so now let's go back again let's go back now we need to click on install and browse through the folder in which we have saved our files remember if you have forgotten to copy your files Uh, you can also transfer your files while you are on twrp from your pc to your mobile first we need to flash our rom now so i'll swipe to wipe now and the flashing is begin this usually takes around 3 to 5 minutes telemoki rom is one of the most appreciated rom around xda For Lenovo A6000 or A6000 Plus, it is the one which has highest number of replies and it is one of the most active ROMs on XDA. Moreover, it has a good support and every doubts are solved on the XDA forum itself, so that's a good advantage. The size of this ROM is about 310 MBs, so it's not a big space. and the size of g apps depends upon what you select but uh, the one which i have mentioned in description is of about 75 mb now you can see that it is almost done and it's done now make sure that you wipe your cal cache that is dalvik cache after your rom is flashed this is very important guys if you don't do it you might end up into boot loops so make sure you do this every time you flash any file on your phone one more thing this rom has inbuilt super su zip so you don't need to worry about getting super su or flashing super su separately and it is successfully complete now go back and we need to now flash 
the G apps. So swipe to confirm the flash, and now it's flashing G apps. This is quite fast because it is a small file. It's done. And now again, wipe Dalvik cache. Swipe to wipe, and this will take some time now. Now this is also done. Now you just need to reboot your system, and that's it. Now it will boot on to the Moki ROM. Cool boot animation from Moki. Moki open source. Even the first boot will take some time. So I'll be back once the setup is done. Finally, the phone is now started and the ROM has come up. Let's just select the English language. I'll just set up my Wi-Fi. setup uh, remind me later next and I'll just click on start and finally I am into the Moki room it has software keys also that's pretty great I'll be doing a full review of this ROM so stay tuned for the same I hope you guys liked this video if you liked it hit like button share our content and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this if you have any doubts please mention them in the comment section below and we'll make sure that you we reply you as soon as possible this is IT Hope signing off thank you